Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we're live here coming to you straight from the sunny land of Portugal. The topic of today's video is Night Shift. Brought to you by Insinius, 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 and currently available on Game Tool for a low, low price of absolutely nothing. It is apparently a game where you play the Night Shift. That's it. Dear Frank, please come keep my store clean. XOXO211. So I am Frank. Okay. Also, the, the mouse doesn't go away, so... Oh, I have to... Oh... I have to use the mouse. Oh shit! Oh, Insinius presents a game by Inferno Bomb. Oh, I have to use the mouse. So sorry about that. Night shift. Ooh, we have cinematic black strips and everything. So I appear to either have a spear or a mop or a broom. Lay there, ready to start cleaning. It's easy. Walk out to the dirty patch and hold space. Press tab. Okay. Well done. Your brush now needs cleaning. Go and get the bucket in the back room. Why the fuck does the brush need cleaning? Are you thinking of a mop? Because as far as I know, brushes don't get really dirty by just, I don't know, brushing something like that. There we go. Good job. Uh-oh, I think something has made more mess back in the shop. Keep cleaning. You know, um, can I, like, drag the bucket? I've used the Space Station 13 far too much. Can I drag the bucket? Control-click. Control-click. Uh, right-click, drag. No, whatever. Oh, that's a light. It's in the foreground. Mo <laughs> Wait, do I have a mop or... A I mean, that is clearly a broom. I mean, I I'm... That's clearly a broom. What the fuck is that? What the shit is that? Is that a cockroach? Is that a giant cockroach? I don't know what the fuck that was, but I'm a bit scared now. What the? What is that? What the fuck is that? What? Okay, first off, I'm gonna have to question, why exactly... Why exactly are the front doors open if, you know, the store isn't? I mean, that, that doesn't work like that. If I'm the janitor or at least the custodian, then the doors are supposed to be closed, and I'm supposed to have the fucking keys to the place, so I can go in by the back door and not have to do something like this. I mean, for God's sakes, that's just basic logic here. I mean, the custodian should not have to go through the front doors, because that means the front doors are kept unlocked, which means anyone can just come in, even... What the fuck is that? What is that thing? Is that like a giant cockroach or something? I don't know. You know what I do know? I know that I should be able to just bring the fucking bucket with me. It's a bucket. Alright? It's a bucket. I can just drag it. Not to mention, right, this is a mop, not a broom. I mean, listen to the sound. What the? Oh, God. I'm scared now. Is this a horror game? Is this a horror game? No one told me this would be a horror game. I'm scared now. That is not dirt. Oh boy. Okay, let's um, focus on uh, pressing matters, which is, uh, let us discuss the fact. Yeah, yeah, okay, I, 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 okay, okay. First off, this is a broom, obviously. I mean, why is that? Are we letting wild dogs in? First off, this is a broom. This is quite clearly a broom, all right? 
I appear to be brushing, and then there's, a, there's a, like a brushing, a soft brushing sound, and not like a wet splorch sound. So this is not a mop. Oh, okay. So I can go longer than I thought without actually cleaning the, 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 uh, the broom. But this is a broom. This is not a fucking mop. Which, of course, begs the question, first, why would you clean a fucking floor with a broom and not a mop? Secondly, why the ever-living shit would a fucking broom get this dirty this fast? The entire point of a broom is to brush away. Brush away the dust into, I don't know, like a, uh, another bucket or something. And why the fuck am I not reacting to what appear to be fucking dogs or giant cockroaches? I don't know. I am the worst janitor. I can't even pull buckets behind me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm leaving the doors unlocked. I mean, first off, first off, right? It was a really stupid decision on the part of the owners of the store or whatever the hell this is to just leave the fucking door unlocked. All right? That's just dumb. Right? You don't do that. You don't do it. You give the janitor the keys to the back door. And I do and I say this because there has to be a back door, because not having a back door and doing all of your business through the front door is really fucking stupid. You need some sort of service entry, and you need to give the fucking janitor access to the service entry. Even if this janitor, like this Frank, appears to be like just a freelance thing. I mean, why the fuck would you leave the front door open so anything and anyone can come in? And then these giant cockroach dogs can just walk in and, and dirty up the place. You look at it. They're just, they're just drawing their feet everywhere. They're leaving trails. They're going in behind the shelves and the counters. Oh, for the love of God. <sighs> This is what happens when you don't even pay the fucking bills. The fucking lights keep going out. And then for whatever reason, you're using a goddamn mop that can't... Not a mop. You're using a fucking broom that can't even fucking broom without being fucking... The I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like wine or if this is blood. But I'm using what appears to be a broom that, for whatever reason, I'm just brushing these things away, and they go straight into the air, they get aerosolized, and then I breathe in the dust, you know, breathe in the dust, because that, that's very, very, very healthy. I'm not even wearing a mask, I'm just wearing a purple fucking hat, just like in Space Station 13, a purple motherfucking hat, and they go away. There we go. I'm using what appears to be a broom that gets really fucking dirty, really fucking fast. I don't know what the fuck that is on the counter. The fucking electrical bill isn't paid, so the doors, the lights keep going away. I can't even drag the fucking bucket. The fucking bucket just stays there in the back room. I can't even drag it around. Can I push it? It'd be amazing if I could push the fucking bucket, but no, I can't push the bucket. I can't push the bucket. I can do it. I can dance, though. I have some sick fucking dance moves. Look at this. Look at, this, look at this. I am the best dancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I have mastered the art of brooming in this game purely by recognizing that I don't actually need to go and clean the broom every five seconds because I can wait until it gets a bit dirtier before I actually have to clean it. And now there's fucking dirt everywhere over here. <sighs> that, 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 that's, that's not a t-shirt that is a uh, cap oh my god that's fucking t can I like close the front door that'd be amazing if I could close the front door that'd be awesome because if you know if I could close the front door then uh, all these cockroach dogs could just you know stop coming in and I could you know clean without having to worry about having to fucking clean all over the place because this, because this place was actually quite fucking nice. This place was actually quite fucking nice. It was clean. It was pristine. It was nice and squeaky. And now there's cockroach dogs all over the place. They're trailing all over. They're leaving their fucking filthy paw claws everywhere. And I have to clean up after them. 
because the person in charge of this fucking place decided that it'd be a great fucking idea to just leave the front doors open for the night rather than just give the motherfucking janitor and or custodian access to the service area. And I assume there's a service area because every single fucking goddamn place like this has a service area. You need to have a service area. You can't really expect people to bring in your stock by the front door. That, that doesn't work. It is some sort of central distribution hub. That's just basic logic here. You need to have a service entry, and you have people going in the service entry, leaving stuff there, and then you distribute it. Even if it's just a small fucking back room. You just need to give the janitor access to the back room, so they can go ahead and go in via there, and not actually have to use the front door. Because leaving the front door unlocked leads to this. God, it's dirt everywhere, and it's getting on my OCD. It's, it's not OCD. It's getting on my nerves here. It's dirt everywhere. And I have what appears to be a magic broom that can just aerosolize every single bit of dirt and powder, but at the expense of getting really dirty really fast. Maybe it's an absorbent broom. Maybe the broom itself doesn't really brush things away, but it, like, absorbs things, and then it just dirties itself, and then you have to clean it. But then that raises another point, which is when exactly do I change the water? in the bucket because the water is going to get fucking dirty and when the water gets dirty then oh dear i mean you're gonna have to solve that aren't you but no there are no <sighs> and then the and then the fucking lights go out because they didn't pay the bills this is what happens when you don't pay the bills people there we go i apparently do not have hands i need to push the giant breaker with my broom in order to get the fucking lights up and I have not had uh, oh there we go I was gonna say I didn't have any of these oh really two at the same time because the game hates me there's fucking dirt everywhere these things these cockroach dot oh, fuck sakes the lights keep going out and I am NOT going to broom in the dark they don't pay me enough for that shit. There we go. Might as well just clean the fucking broom now that I'm here. This looks like a giant fucking brush. Because that's what it is, basically. It's a giant motherfucking brush. I don't even know if this game is random. I mean, th th does this thing follow randomized distribution? I'm assuming that the do cockroach dogs do. Because I've seen them get stuck on walls a bit. So maybe their pathing is a bit random. But does the actual appearance of things get random three at the same time really fucking really get what the fuck was that what the shit was that oh my god there's stuff in the back room now this is th th this is not cool this is not cool I was not told I was not told that this was a horror game. They're coming in the back room now. Oh, oh, oh God. The borders are getting closer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. I was not told that this would happen. I was not told that this would happen. I was not told this was a horror game. I was not told this was a horror game. Oh God. Oh God. I will... I was not told that this was a horror game I will continue to mop until I am killed I will continue to do so until I am unable to continue doing so oh boy oh dear oh shit I'm still hearing footsteps. Well, this just took a turn for the fucking worse. Oh, my heart. My poor heart. 
Oh my god! And now there's nothing but a smudge where I was for the next janitor to come broom. Well, that was interesting. Holy crap. I'm actually a bit terrified now. Then again, I'm a bit of a pussy, so. Oh god. Well, that was it. That was Night Shift by Insidious and Inferno Bomb. You keep mopping and you keep mopping until eventually the cockroach dog stop being your major worry and you start seeing literal ghosts and then you die. Jesus. Well, if you want to experience that, see if I c you can beat my high score of 387. Feel free. Game is currently available on Game Joel for the low, low price of nothing. So, uh, guess that's it for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys and gals had a great time. Uh, as always, I'm open to suggestions in the comment section below. And um, until next week, this is Tully B. Burnlight signing off from the lovely land of Portugal. Goodbye.